WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this uh, Wednesday, the 24th of July. We're looking at the Dow down 305 at 40,061, uh, 51. And it made that round number higher at peak E in the Chapman Wave methodology. That's usually where you've got to be careful. And it was at 41,376.00, a round number, all time high. That's amazing. So it's a, it's, it won't affect the weekly chart unless we start to close decisively under 40,000. So we're going to be watching that closely. S&P right now, the S&P is also down sharply, down 82 at 54.72. That is a big gap down. How that gap gets filled is going to be a big question, but it is a pretty sharp move. You're looking at the QQQ uh, down even bigger percentage, down 11 at 469, down 2.4 percent. That's big. And it's taken out all the support levels at 469. If it breaks 467 to 465 support this week, that's a problem. IWM is the Russell 2000 holding well, down 92 cents at 221.72. It's needing the way up this week. And it's holding OK. It's not great, but it's holding well. And if you go to gold, gold is moving up uh, $24 at 2431. Very nice move up. That means the dollar is kind of weak. And if you look at bonds, and that's going to be important, the bonds are up 5.30 seconds. You want to see the bonds quite a lot higher so that yields can come down. The, 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 the grains are starting to pull back. So maybe we're getting some kind of deflationary aspect, but you want yields to come down. Looking at the crude oil, and that's also pulling back. Down nine, it's up 19 cents at 77.14, testing again that 200 period exponential moving average. So within that context, of where the market is right now, the VIX index is sharp, was sharply higher. Is it holding that higher level? Yes, it's at 16.42. If the VIX by the end of the day starts to break above 17, this market is kind of vulnerable to even more selling pressure. And then I think even the IWM, which is the Russell 2000 holding so well, will be impacted. So this is very important. And you've got the semiconductors sharply lower, making lower lows and lower highs. That's not a good sign for the market. So be a little careful out there and uh, stay tuned to TFNN. Great programming here. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter. And may, am I actually beating the, the bell? Whoa, isn't that interesting? So we've got Apple, which has been a really stellar performer all the way through to the high that was made on the 17th, 15th of July, 237, now at 218, pulling back sharply. Have a great day and uh, stay tuned to TFNN for great programming. See you tomorrow.